So when the first uh, tower got hit, uh, both companies went because we're off our houses. We're like two blocks from the Brooklyn Bridge. So we drive over the bridge. We're into lower Manhattan in minutes. We, you know, we'll get, we'll get to, to jobs in lower Manhattan quicker than some companies who are located in Manhattan because they have to deal with traffic that we don't Steph, have. To deal with. The famous photo that was in the paper, right? That was the, uh, your engine company, right? That was your. I know this is a podcast, but you'll be able to see this. This is, this is the cover of the Daily News. Uh, what, what date is this? This is October 5th, 2001. All right, can, you, can you see that? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to show you a different picture. This is the actual real photo. Okay. You'll see the tower is burning. And this is the Brooklyn Bridge. And right here, that's ladder 118. That's, that's Pete, that's Pete's, Pete wow. Davidson's dad's on that, that truck, right? This guy's in that truck, and they all died on 9-11. Yeah. Now, this photo was taken by a... a uh, it was a young man at the time. I think his name was Aaron McClam. He was, he was just on the roof of a building in Brooklyn and he was just snapping photos and, he, and uh, you know, just to jump quick to this story, he got him uh, several weeks after 9-11, he comes to our firehouse with this picture and he goes, uh, I think this is your fire truck in this picture. So we had to get a magnifying glass out to verify it was ours because it, we have a special toolbox on the outside of the fire truck that, you know, that's, so we knew it was ladder 118, and that's how the that story ended up being in a newspaper. And that's the, you know, there's was the actual truck ever recovered? Yes, it was. It was damaged, but uh, not as bad as uh, other rigs were, were were damaged. 